yesterday, today, huh? and forever. When he was five years, mm. convulsing, attacking, he was treated as a person. From then, when he sleep, in the midnight, he will be struggling in the sleep, mm. breathing like a pig. <laughs> For some time, five or ten minutes before he stop, I took him to a prayer camp. He stopped. When we came back to the house, he started again till now. So I beg you, deliver him for me. I beg you, prophet. Let me talk about, uh, because a lot of messages talk about you, take, you go to any church and the uh, deliverance happened there and later the evil came back. I always see it as your fault. Why? As you see now, no one here, Jesus has not set free. But Satan knows the area you are very weak. You, you know the area you are very weak. You should take note that Satan is aware the area you are very weak. For instance, you know you have spirit of anger. Satan knows that you have spirit of anger. It's not like you, like you, as you are now, me. My human nature don't know that you're having spirit of anger. But Satan knows that you're having spirit of anger. And if you now go back to that anger, reaction, reaction, through that anger, they will come back again. That is the reason why after your deliverance, you examine yourself. Examine yourself. Which area are you very weak? You know. You know yourself. Run from that weakness. For you to say Satan is not aware, he does not know, is a lie. He knows you very well. That which you are very weak will not come. If it is watching, there are some people who take much time watching movies, 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 but you will not listen to the message of salvation in the internet. Tell me why they will not come. You know that you derive joy. Hey, this is movie, this happened, this, happened. this happened, that happened. And you say you come for deliverance. Tell me why they will not come back. Are you getting me? Yes. I, in fact, that is the most way Satan used to get many today. After deliverance, you never go. And I say, oh, I'm free. I don't have to turn again. No. You're not carrying move opportunity. Watch, watch, watch. And most of those things you watch, they are diabolic. Why can't you listen to a message of salvation? There are many ministers of God that give a message of salvation on the internet. Why can't you open and listen to them? Miracles that happen there on the internet. Why can't you open and listen to them? Watch how they naked, how they do this, how they do that. Tell me why they will not come back. That's him is part of the thing. Hmm? Youth today, hardly you see somebody that will concentrate throughout the word of God. They go after that, you pray and sleep. No. What movie? This one. That one. Things that your flesh will rejoice over. You know when you are listening to the word of God, your, your flesh will not rejoice over it. Only your spirit will rejoice. Your spirit will be glad. While your flesh will be, be in pain when you are listening to the word of God alone at home. Your spirit, joy, flesh, pain. And you are now choosing that of your flesh, joy, washing a lot of things. Tell me why they will not come back. Tell me why they will not attack you and get you. Take care of yourself because of the kingdom of God. Come! In the name of Jesus, walking in spirit. So, just as what you said, now that message is for you. You know? Huh? Yes, please. Huh? Yes, please. Wait, are you with your phone here? Yes, please. Be careful. Okay. White lady. Huh? Okay. What man of God said concerning the white lady is true. I used to masturbate with the white lady. You listen to that now. But you listen to what the my Baba, my special father. <laughs> No, Baba, he's listening to that. As if I go by, I say, Baba, are you aware that uh, your son used to watch lady, white lady? <laughs> no, I know. He always watch 
But you don't know whether it's the white lady or white lady. You don't know what he's doing on the You don't know what he's doing on the phone. <laughs> My father, you see, he said he went to this church, he went to prayer meeting. If grace is not given to me to say, okay, who will say now say white lady? See how specific. Are you not? That is the voice that is telling you, kingdom of God is real. He say, young young boy, tell you why? Your where is your phone? He say, I mean, I say he says inside your pocket, and I say white lady, I mean. Huh? Yes, yes. <laughs> right lady. This is salvation. This is salvation. Salvation. Not only come. What is it? Yeah, you used to have conversion. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Jesus dropping message is telling you that after your healing deliverance, you must ignore evil. Go away with evil. If I, okay, look at, he went to the prayer camp. Now, see what is happening. Because he still went back. Hmm? The white lady, you don't know who is, who is she. So I want to see you, my good brother. Eh? You have a bright full sure. It's not the way, eh? No, listen to this boy. You see, you, this, is, this is not your real special. A very handsome boy, if you, if you start living a good life now, you will see your real self will appear. If you see the teeth, it has affected you. You see the eye, it has gone inside. But when you start living the right life, we see now you see here the shape of your right. <laughs> yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Testimony time. Tell the person beside you, share your testimony. Church, let me ask you a question. When you do good to somebody, and then the following day, early in the morning, the person comes to your house to say thank you. How do you feel? Will you feel happy? Yes. Won't you feel of doing more for the person? Yes. That is what God does. When he does something for you, come back and say, Father, thank you. Jesus on the throne. You are welcome to Jesus on the Throne International Ministry. Can you tell us your name and where you are coming from? Okay, I'm Mate Christopher Kusiro. I'm coming from Somalia. Who is the person standing beside you? It's my father. We believe you have a wonderful testimony. Can you share your testimony? He came here on Sunday and Pastor prophesied to us that I should be careful with a white lady. And when he told me that, I confirm it that, that me and the white lady, we used to masturbate. So. so, you were here on Sunday, and in the course of the prayers, the man of God located you through a message of prophecy. What was the exact words? What did he say? He said, I should be careful with a white lady. And before the prophecy, were you having anything to do with a white lady? Yeah. Go ahead. I was like I, I was having a, a, a connection with a white lady. What kind of connection do you have with a white lady? To uh with her. Continue. You say you should be careful of a white lady. Yes. And you used to talk with a white lady through the internet. Yes. So tell us what's happened. Okay, I'll say he the white lady used to take a naked video. And in taking a video of herself, she also used to masturbate. Meaning you used to have a sex video call with a white lady? Yeah. Okay. But, uh, but not, not a video call, but it's just like she would do the video and I'll watch it. And, but it's not, it wasn't a video call. But it's still a video? Yeah. Okay. So how has this affected you? For the affection, I used to have a, a small sickness Sometimes I'll be there and I'll just be falling sick, just anyhow, but not that. So after the prayers from the man of God on Sunday till now, what is your relationship with the lady like? Okay, for now, I don't used to go to the internet and do that, those kind of things again. So I'll stop it.
You mean before now you were having a, a, a video conversation with a white lady and true that you normally masturbate. But last Sunday you were privileged to be here and the man of God located you through a message of prophecy. And since Sunday up to now, you've stopped having this video conversation with the white lady and you have stopped masturbating. Am I right? Yes, sir. Church, put your hands together for Jesus. This is what happened on Sunday. The man of God located him through a message of prophecy. When you receive a prophecy from the man of God, it's a deliverance. This is a deliverance testimony. When you receive a prophecy, automatically your deliverance has come. Can we hear from your father? Daddy, you are welcome to Jesus on the True International Ministry. Can you tell us your welcome, name? Welcome, sir. Last Sunday, we came here with my child and luckily prophet delivered him and now from the sunday to this today how i what i see is his attitude and everything has changed altogether so i give thanks unto god put your hands together for jesus Daddy, before now, how has his attitude been like? And after the deliverance, how is his attitude? Everything has changed altogether. Everything has changed uh, about him about after him. the deliverance from the man of God. Yes, sir. Church, yes, put sir. your hands together beautifully. <laughs> With what you have been through, what word of advice can you give to young ladies or men who find themselves in the same situation you were once in? I would say they should be always positive with themselves. They shouldn't be negative doings. Like they shouldn't do things that will, will not please God and things. So they should stop whatever they do. Well, any wrong thing, any negative thing they think they are doing that is, is affecting them, they should stop it. And uh, what is your promise to God for delivering you from this immorality? What is your promise to God? Okay, I thank God for whatever he has done for me. And I always worship him. Thank you. Put your hands together beautifully. <laughs> Just as the man of God always say, one day eyes will close and you and I will be gone forever. But when you open your eyes, where will you find yourself? Is it going to be in the kingdom of God or is it going to be in hellfire? So work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So that when this day comes, you find yourself in the kingdom of God. Church, put your hands together for Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Viewers, brace yourself for this coming program with Apostle Daniel Carfor on the 29th and 30th of October 2022 at Dodua Afinia Road, opposite Ghana Water Company. Time. 6 a.m. GMT daily for inquiry. Call plus 233 2610000788. Jesus is Lord. Like and follow us on Facebook at Jesus on the Throne International Ministry. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Jesus on the Throne International Ministry. Tweet us on Twitter at jotim1 at gmail.com, TikTok at jotim1 at gmail.com, Instagram at jotim underscore one.